Hi, my name is Duncan Lucas from Passionate About Fish. In this video, we're going to show you all about place. First thing we're going to show you is how to fillet a place at home. This is the way that I teach people for the first time to actually fillet place. This is a place, we've got the traditional black side with spots on, and we've got the white side. Remembering it's a flat fish, so it lives on the seabed. When you've not got experience, the easiest thing to do is to actually trim the fish before you try and fillet it. Take a robust pair of scissors. What I'm doing is I'm trimming the fins from around the outside of the fish. On this side, I'll show you where I follow. This line between the fins and the fish itself is where I actually cut. And always cut from the tail to head. You'll find it slightly easier as the fins are pointing towards the tail. Then I'm going to remove the head of the place. To do this, use your boning knife. We're going to use where the fish has already been gutted as a guide, so we follow the cut round to the spine, tip the head up so the fish is actually sat on the table but with the head lifted away, and then push the knife through the spine and round the head getting a good yield. Now we're going to show you how to fill it the place. If you're right handed, you start on the white side, on the right hand side of the fish. If you're left handed, I would start on the black side, on the left hand side of the fish. I'm right handed, so I'm going to fill it the white side first. The line that runs at the centre of the fish is what we call the lateral line. And we're actually going to produce what's called quarter cut, quarter cut fillets, so we get two fillets from one fish. Because we've taken the head off, you can actually see there's a hole where the gut of the place was. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to push the knife into this hole, straight into the back where this bloodline is and the tip of the knife goes straight in just at the top of the bloodline. I'm now keeping the back of the knife just to the right hand side of the lateral line and I gently push the knife forward. There's hardly any downward pressure on the knife. It's got a very slight bend. If I show you where the knife is, it's here. I'm pushing it forward, go about three quarters of the way down, slight clockwise rotation on the handle and then saw the knife out the side of the fish and that will have started to fillet the fish for you. Then I'm going to put the knife back on the bone, drop the fillet back over the knife, keeping the knife to the right hand side of this lateral line, I push it the rest of the way down the fish and it will release that half of the fillet for you. Then we're going to just make sure we're in the middle of the place. Then there's actually a ridge which is connected to the fillet by sinews. We actually take the tip of the knife and we push it over the ridge and it falls down. I'll open it so that you can see it. Then holding the fillet halfway up the length with your left hand, hold the knife handle very high and actually pull the blade towards you and you'll feel it bouncing along the bone. And it opens the fish up beautifully for you to fill it. Now I'm actually going to turn the fish round so that the bone is facing me and the fillet is away from me. I'm going to lie the knife down the length of the fish with the handle to the right and make one gentle cut along the bone. Very little downward pressure. Put the knife back on the bone and this time I'm going to leave the tip of the blade sticking out the side of the fish, a slight clockwise rotation on the handle and you just pull the knife down the length of the fish and the fillet will lift off. The second side we're going to fillet is the black side. This is slightly more difficult, it's actually a thicker fillet, but at the front end we need to go into the flesh just here. There's a very small triangle of bone and we put the knife just on top of the triangle. There's the lateral line and the, black, the back of the blade is in line with the lateral line down the length of the fish. A little bit of pressure on the tip of the knife and just push the knife, here's the tip of the knife, down the right hand side of the lateral line, slight clockwise rotation and then saw the knife out the side of the fish and it started to fillet it. Put the knife on the bone, back in place, drop the fillet and push the knife forward to lift the tail off the fillet. Now we're going to find the ridge, make sure the fillet is in the middle, open the fish, here's the ridge at the tail, Tip the knife into the ridge, there's the fillet, pull the knife towards you, 
turn the fillet around so that the fish is with the bone towards you, fill it away from you. Lift the fillet, knife on top of the bone, pull the fillet back and one gentle cut down the whole length of the fish. Put the knife back on the bone, again with the second cut, the tip is left outside the edge of the fish. Slight clockwise rotation on the knife and just pull the knife down the length of the fish and we've got two beautiful fillets. Now we're going to have to trim the fillets up. Beautifully presented, but there is the rib cage left on top of the fillets, also the silver skin. What we do is we bend the knife on the work surface, you can see how aggressively the knife is bent, and we pull it back to the rib cage, nick underneath the rib cage and use the bend of the knife to trim away that silver skin, and then we round the front of the fillet up, and there is your first fillet ready to go. With the black side, same way, bend the knife on the table, pull it underneath the rib cage, shave off the rib cage and the black skin with the blade of the knife, and then tidy the front end so it's nice and round. And there we've got two place fillets ready to be cooked. We've now finished filleting the place, but we're going to show you the action of the knife on the bone. This is the place that I actually just filleted, and there is the bone. We started on the right hand side of the white side, and we actually inserted the knife just on top of the bone here. Here is the lateral line and the ridge that runs down the centre of the fish. The back of the knife is slid along the bone in this action, following the ridge there. Once you get three quarters of the way down the length of the blade, we did a sawing action out the side of the fish. We lifted the fillet, put the knife back in the original position, dropped the fillet back down and just pushed the tip of the knife down the spine to lift off the tail. We took hold of the fillet in the middle, we pushed the tip of the blade over the ridge and then we stood the knife as high as we can with the handle up in the air and we pulled the knife along the left hand side of the ridge all the way up the length of the fish. Then we turned the place round, we lifted the fillet, we put the knife onto the far side of the spine and we did one cut down the whole length of the fish. We inserted the knife right out, pulled the fillet over so the tip was pointing out and then we held the fillet and we guided the knife all the way down the length of the bone and the fillet lifted off. On the opposite side, which was the black side of the fish, we inserted the knife just on top of that little triangle of bone. We followed the ridge and the lateral line with the back of the knife three quarters of the way down. We did a sawing action, released the fillet, lifted the fillet, put the knife back on the bone and guided the knife forward to fillet the tail. We lifted the fillet with our left hand put the tip over the ridge, then we pulled the knife along the left hand side of the ridge to release the fillet. We turned the fish round with the bone towards us, the fillet away from us, lifted the fillet, did a cut halfway through the length of the fillet, lifted the fillet further, put the knife right on so the tip was pointing out the side of the fillet, pulled the fillet back over the knife and lifted the fillet off the top and we produce two place fillets.